um, it's that time that uh, we had promised uh, uh, to usher in our guest, uh, Dr. Agnes Salome Awur, who is a lecturer at Jeramogi Oginga Odinga uh, University of Science and Technology. You are also a founder uh, um, uh, of the Hekima Kaka Society. And um, that's an organization that deals with uh, boy child. the boy child, yes. interests around the boy child. Yes. And uh, if I'm not wrong, I think you're also an aspirant at some point. I was an aspirant for, for the Senate. I was an independent candidate yes. in 2013. Yeah. And I had just left the nunhood yeah. and ran into politics. And that's why I made all the headlines. Yeah. The nun who left the nunhood to go to the muggy waters of politics. Of politics. But maybe that story is different. Yeah, yeah. probably that's a story for another day. But I want to <laughs> thank you for, for coming in. Today, it's, 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 um, we also the Azimio flag bearer, yes. uh, Raila Odinga, picking yeah. the former uh, Gishugu member of parliament yeah. as his running mate, mate <laughs> in the August 9th poll. First of all, I want to get your reaction to that. Tom, I think I had a premonition about this. Mm. Today I was going to the, to the Commission for Higher Education and as I came in, I was telling the women, prepare for a Harris moment and people are like really I said it is going to be a Harris moment and really I can't thank enough the eldest among the presidential candidates the boy child mm -hmm. who is Raila Amolo Odinga engineer Raila Amolo Odinga mm -hmm. for choosing Martha Karua mm -hmm. that was wisdom mm -hmm. that was inspired with wisdom mm -hmm. Women in this country have journeyed. I feel emotional about this. Mm. And if I look at Martha I can Karua, see that. I can sense that. If I look at Martha Karua mm. and remember in the 80s, mm -hmm. in the 90s, how she walked the path of the second revolu uh, liberation. liberation in yeah. this country, mm. I just can't thank God enough. Yeah. I don't know who inspired mm. Honorable mm -hmm. Raila. Amolo Odinga to settle on Martha to settle Karua, on Martha Karua, as he's running but him. that decision yeah. was surely yeah. informed yeah. by a woman in his life. In his life, we'll get to that, and I know you you'll open that up for us. Mm. But you 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 talk about uh, Camilla Harris moment. Yes, it is. And and and, and the truth is, mm -hmm. the conversations right now. Mm -hmm in the restaurants, in the corridors, mm -hmm. in the homes, mm -hmm. and even on social media, mm -hmm. is that it feels almost mm -hmm. like what the Americans went through mm -hmm. when they settled on Camilla uh, Harris as the second uh, in command. Did it surprise you, mm -hmm. the decision to nominate Martha Karua? Did it come as a surprise or...? It was a prayer. For me, it was a prayer answered. I've really f f prayed that this country reaches this moment, especially with the two-third gender issue, and having seen women struggle, women like Charity Ngilu, mm -hmm. Mama Phoebe Asio, mm -hmm. Dr. Ida Odinga, and many more. I can't just continue the long line. Mm -hmm. And today was like a fulfillment. A crowning moment. To all of us women yeah. across the board. There is no tribe, tribe here. Yeah. It's women from all stages of life, yeah. up, down, middle, center, whatever. Mama Mboga, yeah. Baba Mboga, I believe also there are Baba Mboga who believe in women. So do you think, do you think it debunks this myth that has been peddled mm -hmm. over many years, mm -hmm. that a woman is a woman's own enemy? No. Today, and if you saw the people who are walking forward with Martha Karua, Honorable Martha Karua, mm -hmm. let me give her the, na the name that she deserves. Mm -hmm. Well, women, we saw Charity Ngilu smiling big. Mm -hmm. We saw uh, Honorable Sabina Chege smiling. The other women from Azimio, mm -hmm. and not even from Azimio only. Mm -hmm. I believe those women from the streets who are shouting, mm -hmm. they belong to different political parties. Mm -hmm. But you know, Martha is somebody we can all identify ourselves with. Mm -hmm. Her resilience, mm -hmm. her fidelity, mm -hmm. her loyalty and commitment, those are all motherhood characters. characters. And, yes. and, and there's also the element of when you, when you see and watch Martha Karua mm -hmm. and study her, mm -hmm. there's, there's, there's conviction in whatever she does. She's a woman who is convinced of who she is. Mm -hmm. Actually, she's a self-actualized person. She knows who she is. She knows what output she can give. 
and she knows how far she can reach. Mm -hmm. And Martha Karua is not somebody who is indecisive. Mm -hmm. When she chooses a path, she chooses it mm -hmm. with conviction, mm -hmm. with commitment, mm -hmm. and this is what Baba needs at this time. Yeah. I know UDS had settled on Veshagwa uh, as their running mate uh, candidate, mm -hmm. and today we saw Martha Karua being uh, the, the, the nominee of choice. Mm -hmm. Let me just take you a little bit. And back. you didn't mention, which is maybe you have it on your story, but I saw also our brother, Honorable Kalonzo yeah. Steven, yeah. also chose somebody like Sankuli as his running mate. Yeah. So among all these presidential yeah. candidates, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to tell you, mm -hmm. but I can say it here mm -hmm. without fear mm -hmm. or without any any denial of reality feel free shoot but the mother karua reality mm -hmm. and the baba karua reality mm -hmm. is going to be a magufuli moment with suluhu mm -hmm. and is going to be a harris moment mm -hmm. come 9th of oh, august. august i can okay. tell well, you well, well you preempted the kalonzo story because mm -hmm. we're bringing it in a little oh, while okay but the point i wanted to make mm -hmm. is raila mm -hmm. odinga mm -hmm. right honorable yes pushed very very hard yes for the bbi yes and we know that Martha, mm -hmm. you remember with her Linda Katiba, yes, initiative, yes, yes. she was completely <laughs> opposed to it. So what sure. I want to ask, mm -hmm. uh, because you know, <clears throat> Raila not only nominated her mm -hmm. as a running mate, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, mm -hmm. but he also assigned some role mm -hmm. to Martha the Karua constitutional to steer the constitution making re conversation. Re reform. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so I'm just wondering from where you are, mm -hmm. how do you think that will play out? I believe that's the best thing that Baba did. You know, I believe Martha was not against the whole document. There's no perfect document. What do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, like the BBI mm -hmm. was made by human beings. Mm -hmm. And human beings can err. There are some parts of the BBI that she agreed with. And because you can't reject a document in totality. And I believe with what she didn't agree with, she would be able to come to table and say, okay, my idea was how could we make this different and yet follow the same course because we see today Raila has a chief minister mm -hmm. who was supposed to be in absentia what? in absentia yeah. he has been elected mm -hmm. he has not refused that position mm -hmm. so he can still carry the chief minister which was reflected in the BBI mm -hmm. Raila has a running mate who is, which is reflected in the BBI mm -hmm. Raila has started sharing positions which is reflected in the, BBI. in the BBI which is reflecting the face of Kenya mm -hmm. for example I believe this is the first time mm -hmm. that somebody from the real with the real cost issues mm -hmm. has been elected as the minister for mm -hmm. for what the minister for lands mm -hmm. we have Governor Hassan Jo, mm -hmm. and you saw the crowd was happy. So what you're saying is probably the bone of contention was the process and not yes, the content. The of process and not the content. Mm -hmm. And I believe this was a justice minister before. Mm -hmm. This is a lawyer. And that's why Baba is an engineer, mm -hmm. but an engineer with experience mm -hmm. of how to run government. Mm -hmm. Martha Karua is a, a lawyer, and you need both those, those two sides of government mm -hmm. as, a that, matrix. As, a, as a matrix mm -hmm. to be able to run a country. Okay. And he has experienced people like Oparanya mm -hmm. who will run the finance. We have agriculture, we have Peter Munya. Mm -hmm. But Martha Karua being chosen for that mm -hmm. is a person who is also involved mm -hmm. in the constitution making Process. of our yeah. the second the can, second Kenya constitution That's that true. we had in 2010. Yeah. Martha Karua was very crucial. She was very crucial. Yes. And, and in fact, I remember her during her speech thanking mm -hmm. the faceless team of of, of dreamers yes um following a nomination mm -hmm. do you think mm -hmm. the gender agenda mm -hmm. is now beginning to take promise yes actually with what happened today i believe in the hearts of hearts there's one leader in this country who believes that women make a difference and if you want to have a stable community if you want to have a stable nation bring in women and you'll be at peace. And that is the right honorable Prime Minister Raila Amolo Odinga. And what he has just begun will begin also the two-third gender thing. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who has reflected that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's the but, only one who has reflected yeah. that. Mm. The, people talk. There's a difference between talking and, and yeah. walking the talk. And walking the talk. And he has walked the talk. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, you talk about people. And there's some people who... Uh, in fact, even when you look at some of the 
uh, the pollsters, mm -hmm. you the know, comments. they say that a lot of folks have already made up their minds mm -hmm. which political coalitions mm -hmm. to support. Mm -hmm. So I know that somebody of mother's stature comes with certain benefits. Yes. But which ones, from where you sit, mm -hmm. stand out as political capital? Especially now, when we have three months or thereabout to go to so, the general poll. I think you are not blind mm -hmm. to the reactions. Mm -hmm. If you compared today's reaction, mm -hmm. when Martha was chosen, you can compare with what we saw yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it was only, it was only Nyeri mm -hmm. and Eldoret. Today, it has been reflected in Kisumu. It has been reflected in Nakuru. It has been reflected in Kirinyaga. It has been reflected in Kiambu. We have seen some reactions in Machakos and also in Sierra. And this is telling you that actually we might be blind mm -hmm. to looking at the polls that were done before today. Mm -hmm. The women vote, mm -hmm. and Baba has wisdom, mm -hmm. is going to go to Azimio. Mm -hmm. I'm talking here today in the studio today. Mm -hmm. And I'm very empathetic about that, mm. and it's going to happen. Believe you me. Yeah. Women and in you Kenya... And I, you and I know yes. that elections are won through the vote. Yes. Through the ballot. Yes. And there is arithmetic and mathematics. Yes. So there's very little emotions. Mm -hmm. There's no emotions, mm. but there's something that people are looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And you remember the number of indecisive voters mm -hmm. were very big. Mm -hmm. And now that will be closing in. Mm -hmm. Because mother does not come alone. She's not walking to... She has Kirinyaga. And you saw the way the people of Kirinyaga were happy. Yeah. It's not only about Kirinyaga. It cuts across the nation. Yeah. Women have been looking forward for this. We have never had in our 50-something years yes. since independence yeah. have a woman who is straightforward, yeah. incorruptible, firm, convinced mm -hmm. about what she is loyal and faithful to a cause and that only defines mm -hmm. nobody else mm -hmm. but honorable martha karua and then mm -hmm. let's go it we have never had a man who has fought for this nation because i'm a boy child fighter yeah I have to look at that man and you run an organization and i run an organization yeah. called hekima kaka society that's right Baba Raila Amolo Odinga mm -hmm. is the face of a man that we need as a leader. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is resilient, commitment for purpose, mm -hmm. and for the betterment of a people, and not only for men, mm -hmm. but also for women. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, um, unfortunately, time is up. I just oh. I'll, 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 I'll get away of talking with my <laughs> producers to give me more time but, but let's 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 get your closing remarks and as you give me your closing remarks mm -hmm. um you know there's always this thing that behind every robust mm -hmm. and strong mm -hmm. man mm -hmm. there is a woman so as you give your closing remarks mm -hmm. you can also probably just mention what uh, mama Aida Odinga, fondly ah. referred to as Min Pin. Min Pin. Uh, what role she played I as, hope, as, as you wrap it I up? I hope Min Pin is listening. But this is a woman who has stood with her husband through thick and thin. The second thing, people don't know. But behind these peace accords, Mama has been there. It is Mama Dr. Ida Odinga, who formed the first women caucus political caucus in order to nurture women and one of her students was Martha Karua. Today the student has graduated of being nobody else deputy mm -hmm. but of her husband. Yeah. So behind every strong man there's a woman. I want to thank you. Thank for you coming very much. Through. And thank Are you, you for giving me the chance. No. This time <laughs> let me work for the boy child and for the nation of Kenya at different capacity. I thank thank you. you so much. I thank much you Dr. Agnes Salome Ogor, lecturer. Jeremogio Ginga, Ginga, Ginga University, University, University of Science and, Science and Technology, Technology and mm -hmm. the founder of Ekima Kaka Society. An organization that fights for the welfare of the boy child. I thank you. And the boy child cannot walk alone. Asante. We walk together. Thank you. Thank you so much. As